Oh no! Maybe I was a bit premature in my first video. Bought the Milwaukee High Torque Impact Gun. Three weeks. Uh, it went wrong. What a nightmare. The gun itself, it is a beast. Really impressed with it. It's working really well. Getting everything off. I haven't suffered with any nuts that are too tight. But this trigger issue. Oh, I'll tell you what. I was gutted. This is what happened. Bloody gutted. This is what I'm getting at the minute. Trigger's fully depressed. It's rotating really slowly with no power at all. It's juddering and jerking. And there's a bit of a smell coming from the back. And it, don't, it don't matter what I put it on, on the settings, it makes no difference to it. But that's on four now. That's fully depressed and it's going really, really slowly. Battery. I've got two on the battery. I think I need to go and get the other battery and try that and see if there's a problem there. So, you're pulling this trigger and it was choo-choo, going nip, 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 nip. Right, really, it was like fighting itself. It's almost like, it, it, if you can imagine it's got three coils in there, two of them were trying to go one way and the other one was trying to force it back. That's what it sounded like. So it was, it was fighting against itself, like really battling. It was smelling a bit inside. Uh, I wasn't sure whether it was the motor kind of issue, some kind of computer issue telling the wrong bit to fire. Anyway, had to send it back. So Milwaukee with their return policy. So I bought this online. You have to register it online, which is a real ball ache. What a palaver. Oh, I tell you what, it's something they've got to sort out because if you try and do it on an iPhone or an iPad, their computer system isn't compatible. Whose isn't compatible with iPads? Everybody's got an iPad. So yeah, you go through the little boxes, you try and fill in the boxes and it wouldn't process the information. So I gave them a call on the old phone and they said, yeah, you've got to do it on a PC. So I had to dig out the old laptop. Oh, I brushed the dust off. You know what I mean? From prehistoric laptop times where you turn it on, you have to wait an hour for it to boot up. Because it never gets used. We never use it. Anyway, eventually after it updating itself, pfft, took ages, managed to fill out the information on the, on the form to register this. So when it went wrong three weeks in, what I did was to call the shop where I bought it from. It was online, but I rang the shop straight away. I said, look, I've had it three weeks. It's playing up. Uh, what are you going to do, sort of thing? And they said, well, because it's three weeks old, we don't want to know. You've got to get in touch with Milwaukee. Here's the phone number. So they gave me a number to ring. So I rang that number up, and it was a third party. Welcome to the Warranty Administration and Spares Line. Our office hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Thursday and 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Friday. Please wait while you are transferred to an available operative. Good afternoon, Technical. Oh, hi there. Is this Milwaukee? It is, yeah. Oh, excellent stuff. Um, I'm just having a few problems. It wasn't, they didn't go, yes, it's Milwaukee. What can we do for you? It was a, it was a third party company who was dealing with their warranty stuff. Not a problem. So I explained to the lady on the phone what had happened and she said, what you've got to do is go onto your Milwaukee website, which just went. <laughs> I'm thinking alarm bells me, but iPad don't work on there. So anyway, you've got to go onto the Milwaukee website. You've then got to go to your product that you've logged because you have to create this account. So anyway, you find the product, which I'd logged, which was this. Then you have to go into uh, product information, and then it's like fault. You click on that. You have to explain your fault. You put in your address and everything else, and they send UPS out to come and pick it up. So 
that side of things, once I got past all the processing of the information, which, like I say, it's a ball ache doing all of that. I just wanted to ring somebody up and go, it's gone wrong, please come and get it, or tell me where to take it, or whatever. But anyway, I had to do that. They said they'd send UPS out to come and collect it. So I had to box it up. Mm, wrap it up. I'm going to send it off in the box for repair. Double wrap, packed. Packed it all in a box, nice and tight. Printed the label off, stuck the label on it. Off it went. Now then, the the repair agent who have fixed it is a company, C J Sinclair, and they were on the south coast somewhere, miles away from here. So anyway, off it went. Didn't take long to sort it out, which. It's a good thing, but then I have to think, wow, they fixed that quick. Because they knew what was wrong with it straight away. Um, I sent them a video of what you're going to see um, to say what the problem was. And uh, they investigated it and deemed it to be the switch assembler that's faulty. So um, if you've ever seen one of these stripped down videos of one of these guns or something similar... Um, the switch assembly is a right bit of kit. It's a microprocessor in itself. It's got about 10 wires coming out of it. It's quite a complicated bit of kit. So I could understand, yes, that is the issue. Um, but they changed it and got it back to me in two days. So from me sending it off, they got it. That day they got it, which was the next day, they looked at it, they fixed it, they sent it back in the post. I got it I got it back four days after sending it off, which is pretty amazing. So they'd obviously got the part in stock as well. They didn't order this part in because he looked at it first thing in the morning and it was fixed because they sent me a text message as well, which is all good, you know, it's great, great service. Sorry for delay. We had a big problem this morning with the trailers, you know. Yeah, we do apologize. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. They actually sent it back to me in the same box I sent it. So I've just got the uh, gun back from Milwaukee and they said that all they've changed is the switch according to the paperwork. Um, so it says switch assembly from the repair but I'm just having a close look at this and if I'm not mistaken this anvil is absolutely untouched and the, sl the little slip ring on the end has got no marks on it at all. It is absolutely brand spanking new. There isn't any marks at all. Now I'm gonna put a socket on it, just see if it scuffs it. If it does, we know for sure that that is, and also look in there, look, that has got fresh, almost looks like fresh lubricant in there. This just looks too new. So what I'm thinking, looking at this, have they just changed out the insides of the whole gun? Because the casing is the same one. It's still got the same marks on it and I had the little mark on the back. So the casing is identical, but have they changed all the innards? So here's the socket. This has got to leave a small mark on that anvil, I'm sure. Yeah, straight away, there's now a mark there, mark there, a mark there, scratch. That is new. They've changed the innards. So, uh, yes, here it is, all fixed, back, working, as good as new. But it's a concern. You know, new product, I was buzzing when I got it. 
it works fantastic. Reliability, I really hope this isn't going to be a problem. You know, you kind of lose a bit of confidence in the product. Uh, it, it, like I said in my original video, I've always had Makita. Makita, Makita. Never, ever have I had to have anything repaired. It's always worked. I changed to the Milwaukee. The first thing I've bought is gone wrong. I just, it's just a bit of a, you know, a stab in the heart. Um, I, should I stuck with the Makita? So I've been online, I've been digging and digging and I cannot find anything on this product where it's faulty. Not on the new stuff. Some of the older stuff, the pre-brushless, the, the pre -brushless, the stuff before it went brushless, there's switch issues and stuff like that. But there's nothing, I can't find anything on this new brushless system uh, to say that it's a problem. So that's why this video is going out there. I, it'd be interesting. If you have had one of these or you've got one of the brushless Milwaukee kit and you've got a problem or had a problem, I'd love to know because there's not a lot of information. Um, they seem to be so reliable, which was one of the reasons I bought the blooming thing. So, um, anyway, it's fixed. It's back on. It's working. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it gets on. See if it lets us down again. If it does, I'll let you know. I put some more footage on of this, the, the fault, because it was really peculiar. It would... It would... Yeah, go wrong, then come back to life, and then go wrong again. That's on four, trigger fully pulled, and it sounds worse. You put it on onto one. It almost goes to three. Back to one again. Yeah. Naga naga. I do love it though. It's a lovely bit of kit. It has got so much power. I can't tell you how much power it's got. Uh, the other day I've got this I've got this job, it's a it's a big van with a massive 20 inch alloy wheels on it, real fancy wheels, and it's got the adapter which is basically like a Torx bit on a long Allen key that goes into the, into the wheel. It was recessed really deep. My God, it was tight. It was rusted up. It was nasty. And obviously, when you're going through a long shaft, you're losing a lot of torque through it. This was on setting one to start with. Didn't even touch the sides. It just weren't having any of it. So I just puffed it up to three. Wham! Straight out with a puff of rusty dust. Poof, off it come and it were tight I thought I'm just going to put my bar on one of these other ones and see how tight it well I tell you what they were tight they were really tight this thing whacked them straight off no problem at all and because it was on a long a long allen key you can imagine when I've got the bar on it I'm just moving it it's moving about it's really hard to keep it straight bang that on it it took it straight out no problem at all it is a top bit of kit power wise it is amazing I just hope this reliability issue doesn't come back and rear its ugly head again. Thanks for watching. Give me a bit of a thumbs up. Drop me some comments. I want to know what's going on with this kit. Is it any good? Or are you all having problems with it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.